Hello everyone, welcome to Mad Lab Movie Review Time to Kimito Namini no Red Ta! Whoa! Oh my god, look, this movie today is gonna be full of romance. So you can say this movie is mostly about two lovely couples have spent some time together, although there's some dramatic end to this, uh, well, lovely doubly, although this guy survived for some reason. So you can say, um, well, I'm expecting a bit of drama in this movie, and obviously I'm gonna expect some lovely doubly uh, stuff happening in this movie about the first half of it. I'm pretty sure the first half of the movie gonna focus on these two just doing some flirty couple stuff like that but express some like teen love in this movie I mean the genre for this movie is apparently comedy uh, which I can really see any comedy in this is PV um, drama romance makes sense drama romance because the drama part was, was the second half of the PV which showed that she cried and then that guy somehow survived well I'm gonna talk about that later and then the fourth one is fantasy well the guy is surrounded by war so I can see some of the fantasy stuff around that like Nagino Asakara so let's just say hmm well, what do you expect from this movie? Nothing really major other than your typical ro drama, romance like movie. I mean, from the PV I saw, it's pretty much seeing these two couples keep, keep on doing this. Hinako. <gasps> Minato! Ugh, I get it, your name is Minato. I get it, your name is Hinato. Just stop saying that. I just really annoyed you when I, they came and saying it when I watched the PV in the cinemas this past few months. Yes, I've been going to the cinema a lot this past few months and they've been promoting this movie for quite a while now. So I'm actually might as well go just go and check it out. I mean, this is a quite a random movie because usually I don't do like a quite original movie. Usually I do like popular movies like Promare, um, Sheishin Buddha Yaro, which I did it like uh, two weeks ago. And well, and let's just say Fates have heaven views if you remember from my old channel, but I, I brought, brought, brought it to this channel now. And then you have the ReZero OVA. And well, I haven't done quite a lot of movie reviews, but I've been doing like quite uh, like most talked about movies although they know I don't think a lot of people in from the west will get, know this movie until like they get to watch it in, in overseas of course but you know I think I'm a Japan master just watch it and review it now so yeah the way I can sum up from what I can see from this PV well let's just say Hinato moved into a coastal town and then for some reason she fell in love with this boy called Minato they spent some lovely lovely time together and you know it's just some happy time teen couple thing and then for some reason that Minato died you know unforeseen death drama happens she cried in the PV and then he survived surrounded by war like a spirit and she had to find a way to save him or you know trying to get him back to rea um, being a human again and that's where the drama stuff happens I guess and that pretty much dominate the second half of the movie I can pretty much guess the plot line of the story already but who knows I mean there's something like maybe some twist to it or maybe we have a sad end to this movie or maybe you have like a quite a typical generic end to the story where the boy you know back to you know being a human and they fell in love and get married and have kids Ah, your, your shoujo stuff. So you can say, I can pretty much sort of guess the plot line for this movie again because the PV pretty much gave it away a lot of it. So, although I'm quite happy with this movie because it's been animated by, well, let's just say it's a quite a popular studio called Science Saru. Well, you know, Science Saru sort of animated the uh, Devil Man Cry Baby and the Ping Pong the animation, and you guys pretty much know that because Devil Man Cry Baby for some reason won the anime of the year last year, to my debate, of course. So let's just say I'm actually looking forward to this movie because of the animation because you know they, they make some wacky animation from the, this studio so let's just see how it go but obviously from what I can see from the PV the character design uh, I'm not a big fan of it but let's just see how good is the drama of this um, movie and the romance and, and stay tuned for me to review in the end, end of the movie, oh, well, after the movie post cinema reaction so I'll see you guys um, after the, for the review and uh, let's head out shall we Hello, we made it to the cinema and yes, it's quite less busy than I expected because it's like in the middle of the day on a Friday well, afternoon so people well, you know, have lunch and go to work so don't expect a lot of people to turn up but you know, you ask me why am I sitting on the side of the cinema and other than the, in the middle of the, uh, the middle seat well, let's say I always want to try sitting the, well, the side and this is it trailer yeah just skip the it trailer so yeah hmm, this movie like i said i think it's gonna be like a generic drama romance movie but we'll see it could be a, a bit of a twist to it uh, we'll see. and yes it's a story about two surfer lovers although the guy is like a firefighter for some reason so that's us just find out about that so yeah let's see what this movie has an offer for us today Okay, the movie is about to begin, so I'll see you guys after the movie. One hour later. 
Okay. Well, that movie goes according, almost according to what I said at the introduction. So generic. I can pretty much predict it, some of the scenes that I can recognize some of the from other romance anime. And you can say it's almost as if it's just so repeated. Some of the stuff, the, the storyline is just. It's so predictable if I had to sum it up. It's just I'm a bit disappointed with it. I, I don't even feel sad. I just feel like, oh my god, really, man? More like a cringy, a lot of cringy, like just like, oh my god, seriously, how are you going to go with that? Oh my god, I have a lot to say. I have a lot to say. So I might as well head back to my room and do it. And yes, my, my initial rating will be seven and a, uh, well, be a lower seven out of ten. That's how low I can give it. Well, that's how I'm gonna see it. So yeah, let's get head back to my room to do a proper review of it. Okay, we're back in my room and let's get started with the review because I have something to do today. I need to get this done in time and to be done quickly too. So let's just say before we can even get started with the review, there will be spoilers in this review. So if for any of you guys want to be spoiled for this movie, click off now or else I'll, you guys be spoiled. So you've been warned. So let's just say this movie. Well, you know the introduction I said like uh, there will be some scenes that I, I can predict what's going to happen and pretty much uh, stay true to my words. And because I go in and just like say, hmm, I think I mentioned this and this and this. Well, let's just say I'm 75% correct some of the some of the like the, the plot that i, I uh, have a hypothesis that may happen yeah yes it happens you know it actually happens 75 percent of the stuff that predicted happened well let's just say the the star of the movie let's just say the girl called hinato just went back to her hometown to attend university there and instead of unpacking her room and you know decorating her room she just go to, uh, straight out to go surfing and then she came across this firefighter training which she came across this well not the main not the protagonist um he met that met she bumped into but more like his friend then which was called wasabi for some reason but then you know she just you know say hi and stuff like that and then let's go surfing so it's just a, like a quite a normal start to the movie uh, before they fall in love but i can get to that later but then some stupid idiots decide to play some firework next to her apartment and just like you know sort of in ignite the whole apartment into fire into fire and they're still playing fireworks so they're gonna get arrested anyways although there's no evidence for that so they managed to go get away so let's just say hinato's apartment got engulfed in fire and she's trying to escape instead of going downstairs because the fire is like covering downstairs she went upstairs which is like a some sort of smart move i would say but in the uh, but in, at least you know as far as fire to have this like a ladder to go up and rescue people so you know she just you know escaped the fire go to on top of the building and, and scream for help and then her well the main protagonist of the story minato came and rescued her in a very dashing way uh, up the fucking uh, firefighter ladder well whatever that really called it so let's just say it was that's when they first met and they just like oh thanks for rescuing me and then when you know when she when he uh, escorted her to the where the civilians are like you know just like gather before the fire has been taken out well she asked him out to go surfing not asked him out out but asked him out to try out surfing because she knows that you want to try out surfing so i was like hmm you, oh that's you want me to, you want me to teach you surfing since you have some interest in surfing uh, let's just say they did, they went surfing and uh, well, yeah, let's go, let's go surfing guys. So, you know, when he and her go surf surfing in the sea, that's when they start to fall in love. <sighs> Why is this such a common practice where you just ask someone out and they just say, oh my god, you and I are together most of the time, let's go out. And throughout the first half of the movie, they, well, almost the first half of the movie, they decide to go out of uh, in the, to the day and just seeing these two lovely teen couples you know, flirting with each other, kissing, 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 um, doing selfies, go to karaoke bar. You can expect some stuff like that where you've seen shoujos and stuff like that. So I just sat there, yep, exactly what I predicted it. So I would say it's, it's, it's quite needed in this sort of movie uh, well, romance movie so just to make people feel happy for those two oh I want to see them happy together but the, they try their best to like make them so lovable for the audience so that they say oh my god the boy gonna die which makes us sad to be honest it's so obvious from the PV already you should have just left it out but let's just say it was quite a generic start to the movie where you see some um, typical couple stuff you see in a lot of 
shoujo manga and just seeing them enjoying life uh, as being a couple and you know just flirting make some wish make some vows that one day that i would do this with you i'll do that with you and also the boy trying to find the uh, find the hero actually she, he mentioned that the reason why he became a firefighter was because he she was being rescued by a hero and he was inspired by her and so he, he can say he he, he told uh, minat minat uh he not told her his past story and just you know just make her very touched by his his enthusiasm to rescue people but you know tragedy happens with his desire to rescue people because like on a snowy day well you know stuff happened but before the snowy day they yeah they sat under the snow and do some romantic last romantic stuff together they didn't have sex by the way so you know that minato you know he with his like personality to help people he saw some people were drowning in the middle of the sea instead of calling for help he just dived right into this high wave sea basically he drowns and he dies in a cold wintry uh, beach day so you can say it was a stupid move because he could have just call for help and i mean the guy was literally drowning so I, do, I don't blame him for like just instantly just jump to the sea but at least assess your situation first this is the, the first thing i learned from first aid it's just uh, assess the situation do not just jump into the sea and just rescue people because you maybe you'll be the victim too so you know he with his you know he would instinct just oh my god that guy's drowning let's go i'm gonna jump to the sea and save him in the end he just died and then uh, that's when tragedy happens and that's pretty much how i predicted that the story gonna progress to so you know me um hinato cries in the depression family cry and by the way minato has a little sister called chuko i forgot her name i don't give a shit anyways so this is a she's more of a sundere little sister which, which you know give her uh, sometimes like just have a very high pitched voice and you know very very stuck up little sister so let's just say everyone was like in depression that uh he, he, well his friend his senpai um yeah you know he, he's also depressed too but he also has feelings for the girl too oh my god yeah you can see where this is going right so i would say this progression of the first half is quite generic you know like you oh my god they're happy doubly together and they just oh my god I feel so sorry for her that she lost a boyfriend you know tragedy oh my god how many scenarios is I've seen this happen in manga mostly manga not in anime but mostly I've seen I've seen this, I've seen this a lot in anime like oh my god they're dating they're having some nice time together and then stuff happened to the boyfriend or girlfriend tragedy happened and then you expect some other people come in and take the girl or boy so <laughs> I, I did literally sat there I, I didn't actually feel sad I just like sat there laughing because it's just so predictable <sighs> so you can say that that's when the second part kicks in and then Hinato so sort of was in depression you know what how people feel when you lost someone you love sat there crying depressing avoiding the stuff that you love she did not do she did not surf because like she just every time she sees surfing the, her surf force she reminded of that time when you know minato dies so you can guess the, the scenario already but uh, and then let's just say the sister sister and his kohai or his friend that have a crush on her just invite her out on like a, like a hangout just to talk about this situation and say that she needs to move on she just cannot just dwell on this for a long time so you know you know girls takes a while to overcome these emotions i mean it usually takes like a month or so or, or maybe or maybe a week i don't know i don't have enough love experiences to talk about this but from experience of watching anime <laughs> sorry guys uh, let's just say uh well every, you know they have a, this uh, like a national anthem for those for themselves they just sing this popular song that you guys heard in the pv the start of the pv well you know that she sang the song just to remind her, just to have some reminiscence of that moment they sang together and then for some reason heaven decided to like make uh left minato back in, on earth like a wandering ghost in inside a war by the way he's not like wandering ghost in the land he's wandering ghost in a war so he can basically anything that has a, like a war like for example a war ball like this he's inside of it so every Every time Hinako sings, he appears and just like talk to her, saying that uh, apparently he cannot pass on until his he has one, another life goal to achieve. Basically, basically I'm going to get into that later. But he has a, another goal to achieve. That's why Heaven say, okay, we're giving you a chance. That's a goal to make sure that you're fully fully satisfied before you can pass on. So you can say he's not passed on. He's just more that like there to hang out with Hinato for most of the time. So let's just say you can pretty much on the PV that he's inside some a, a big surrounded by war and every time he appears every time he not to sing you know to her surprise 
that he appears and no one can see her. So Hinato is the only one who can see him. So you can you, people just saw her as like a quite weird person, like a person that cannot get over the border loss and just like be a very de illusionized person. Just like oh my god, he's there, he's there. Like someone just can't get over the fact that her boyfriend died. So people so saw her like that, like saw her like a weird person but that's like majority like the part mostly the first half of this uh first half of the second part of the movie where you just saw her just trying to hang out with minato inside of some sort of war she go with many scenarios like putting her putting him inside like a dolphin uh war power war suit or whatever is it so you can say she's quite desperate to you know hang out with him most of us spend some time with him people can start to get like just trying to distance themselves from her, especially her two close friends, because she's, they start to see her like quite weird, quite mentally unstable. Because she just say, "Oh, I saw uh, Minato is there. Minato is there." You can you can pretty much guess it because so in, you can you, you know from typical anime stuff in the past where you, people kind of move on from it and they just believe that it's still there. So yeah, you can pretty much guess the scenario for the first half of the second part already. But then let's just say sooner or later she started to feel, feel like people are so like seeing them seeing her weird and she just want Minato to pass on. Apparently she started to want to Minato to pass on so that's why she's trying to find out uh, what what mean what makes Minato stay in, in this world and what, what he needs to achieve. So she's trying to dig into his phone although he, she needs to unlock the password of course but let's just say that she tried the birthday the sister little sister birthday blah 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 did not work and, and she even asked her friend although when she asked her friend to you know ask her about uh, asking about Minato his friend so uh, trying to confess his feelings for her and she was being tro she's troubled by that and she starts like trying to avoid him and then, and then for, for some reason she's just getting fed up with it and she just wanted to like just get away from him for a while and and just talk to the sister about this problem and the little sister also mentioned that um, apparently Minato has uh, was inspired by this hero back in his childhood where he, she's been rescued in the sea when he was drowning well coincidence he died from drowning now let's just say she went through his photo album and just saw this little boy with a fucking I think it was a uh some sort of picture in his butt uh, in his swimsuit, tr swimsuit trunk so she went back home and just looked through her photo album for the, the day where she rescued him and yes it's her apparently the hero and she just realized that the password is the the day that she's been, he was inspired by her and he basically been rescued by her so you know, apparently what coincidence that she was the one who rescued him in the past <laughs> Wow, what a drama. You could have at least added in the, in the start of the first half of his, uh, the movie to make things even more dramatic. So you can see where this is going. He, he knew it was her and then he, he, he needs to help her and he needs to save her as a, as a return for her health to rest that saved him. So you know, she mean, uh, he, Hinato went, uh, to, went to, uh, was inspired by his, his will to rescue people so she decided to go uh, pursue uh, like a new role as a lifeguard. Yes, yeah, she was inspired by her, her own uh, heroism and, and decided to become a lifeguard. So she she was training as a lifeguard, although she struggled because when you do the CBR thing, she saw she was reminded of the scenes where Minato was like in dead in the, in the beach. So yeah, it, it took her time to like get adjust to her, her new life to do CPR and stuff like that. So uh, you can see that she's trying her best to like trying to save people now because she was she wanted to inspire. She's inspired by her own own action. So she wanted to like save people using her swim her surfing skills and her swimming skills. But let's just say um, her. Minato's little sister so you know confessed that she has feelings for his friend not uh, and his friend has feelings for um Hinako but let's just say he, Hinako pushed him away and tell him to go out with the little sister so I'm very glad so then one night little sister called um well actually once uh in some point little sister called Hinako out uh, to spy on those people that started the firework back in the start of the movie because they had they're scheming another firework destruction and this time they're doing it in a very tall building with a tree in it a banded building of course and they decided to play fire and guess what guys fire start and then the, the, and those two girls are stuck in the building and the firefighters come and save the day and then she called out Minato for the one last time Minato saved them took out the fire everyone this time can see Minato for some reason even the friend can see Minato even the sister can see Minato so they you know extinguished the fire they surfed down the building in a very strange way 
I was sitting there laughing to be honest in that point I don't even want to remember it and then Minato passed on to the to the afterlife because let's just say he was here finally achieved what he wanted to achieve uh, helping saving her from uh, and as a return for saving him that's why they were going now because he wanted to get close to her for his her his hero so you know um, Hinato finally accepts uh, her finally accepts that he's pa now can pass on and he's no longer around so she cries in the end which she gets on the PV the crying scene fin she's just trying to cry it out so she can move on but life goes on everyone so we have quite a sad end but not so sad end because I I sort of you know so sort of expected this stuff to happen so I was emotionally prepared so I did not cry I just sat, sat there just like Really man? Really man? Seriously? So you can say this, this is quite much summary for this movie. Obviously I didn't say, mention everything because I don't want to spoil too much. So this is like the key moments in this movie. So you guys will look forward to it if you guys even bother watching it such a generic movie. Generic, generic love movie. So let's just say my view on this is again I just I keep on mentioning this word generic. Uh, I, liked, I like how it progressed with the love strategy meet him again in afterlife and he moved passing on i'm there's quite a few animes or mangas that so sort of have adapted this plot line but still i could i was expecting a bit more like more like uh the stuff that he maybe if he was being resurrected of some sort then they would make things even more interesting but i don't I, obviously that director say oh my god if they do if they do this thing what was the emotion of the first half of the movie which i have no emotion at all i just like sat there just like Oh, exactly how I predicted it. So you can you can say I like it. I love the lovely, lovely moment. We love. I'm um, yeah. If they add a sex scene in it, then it will make things even more interesting. But uh, well, you know the tragedy happens, and I mean, I, like I mentioned, it, it, who dive into the sea and try to rescue people without even assessing how dangerous the, the sea is? I mean, yes, he he lacks a life a life saving skills. He just go with instinct so i mean he's a firefighter after so firefighters just go with the instinct to save people lives and uh, so um when you know the second half of the movie pretty much you know sort of went downhill a bit because like just seeing them uh, over uh, talking 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 saying well oh, we telling hinato to move on and not dwell on it too long and although she sort of started to escape from it but you can say the, the one that really i was disappointed about was how they just you know trying to be the hero and just trying to save the building to, trying to capture the people and rather than just call the police yeah i know they're trying to make it dramatic but i just say they're just forcing it i mean it's more like they're forcing the scenes to make it dramatic i'm pretty sure they're like oh dear this storyline may not be favorable to some of the audiences might as well add a bit of drama by them going to the building and being stuck in the, building in the fire and being saved by minato and then he put pad move on <sighs> I'd rather to do like a final goodbye, like a like shaking hand or kiss or something before she pass on, like right in front of the face, but but rather than in the top of the building. But this movie is a bit disappointing, especially the second half. So I'm I have nothing much more to say to it other than you guys want to, you guys hopefully you guys enjoy this generic love drama movie, which I don't know why I even bother reviewing it, but I just did it anyways for for fun. So you can say I'm not really that happy with it. it this, the plot, the story writing is is okay, but it just gets very downhill from that point. Uh, for uh, around the near the near the end, character design really reminds me of ballroom dancing. The at the anime, the long necks, and so they try to make it very wacky, of course. So I would say the the studio lives up to the, what their animation style is. So what is there to say? Hmm, nothing much, I guess. I mean, it's just a love drama show. You can expect you know to to never let to finally let go of a hand and let him pass on. That sort of ending. He she finally go back to surfing and able to um enjoy life again and able to find new boy. <sighs> I didn't stay to the end of the credit because I just want to get out of my get out of it and just and just do something else. So hope you can enjoy my review for this movie and obviously I mostly discuss the plot plot of the story and I give hope you guys give a give a like for my re review of this movie. Subscribe to my channel for my review content and reaction content. I'll see you guys in my next reaction review video or reaction video. Oh yeah, by the way, my next review video will be weathering into you thank you no call can't wait for that next month guys next month looking forward to this movie i can't wait to start reviewing this oh oh yeah speaking of animation style it's okay so hope you enjoy my review and i'll see you guys next time